An EF0 tornado touched down in Kirkwood last night and high winds and flooding caused all sorts of damage across the area as we've been showing you all morning. Fox 2's Ella Airby joined us live by uh, an MSD or with an MSD spokesperson to find out what the agency is doing to prevent future flooding from the storms like what we saw on 55 in Loughborough last night. Ella? That's right. We are joined with Sean Hadley with Metropolitan Sewer District. Sean, talk to us a little bit about where we are and what's the purpose of this rain garden here. We're in the Cortex area, which is near the Central West End, and this is one of our uh, biggest rain gardens. This project actually was uh, built in 2015, and what we did here is we actually helped uh, the Cortex area kind of help capture this water. And so what our rain gardens do, which we have a lot throughout the district, they're designed to help help reduce the, the flow of water into our sewer system. They're not going to prevent flooding, but they're going to help reduce that, you know, help capture that water that, that, um, that gets out there. And so storms like we saw last night, um, water water would go into something like this if there was a, if a, you know, a structure there like that. But what we're seeing now with all the gray, hard infrastructure, or hard um, concrete, that's not absorbing water, and so you're starting to see a lot more of these, you know, uh, street floods. Um, our, our system gets overwhelmed with with rain, and um, so you know we're really we're really encouraging people to, to kind of invest in green infrastructure. I mean, we're we're investing over six and a half billion dollars into the uh, entire St. Louis region for the sewer system. But you know, one of the big parts of that is our green infrastructure part. We have a large grants program for um, corporations, and we have a small grants for residents that can get into, um, you know, building you know a catch basin or some sort of some, some sort of small rain garden that'll help just again capture capture that flow and then you know you'll return to the sewer system or put it in the ground naturally and is there anything that residents who are cleaning up right now can keep in mind or do to help deal with the uh, flood that they're seeing in their neighborhoods yeah, the biggest thing is, you know, like right now, people are cutting grass. Make sure you don't put your, your lawn clippings into a sewer system. Make sure that, you know, if you see an inlet that's clogged or free, um, or has, you know, some debris by it, if you can clear, go ahead and do that. If not, call us. We'll come out and we'll definitely clear them. You know, the biggest thing is just making sure that the water has a place to go. And, you know, again, you know, looking at things like green infrastructure solutions, those are some, those are preventative measures. We're not going not gonna to solve the issue, but it's just something that we, you know, looking to do. Because, I mean, our biggest thing is, we're, again, we're, we're spending six and a half million hours, but we don't have funding for stormwater services. And so that's the biggest issue we're, we're, we're facing right now. Wonderful. Thank you, Sean, for joining us and talking about these preventive measures here. Again, Sean Hadley with uh, Metropolitan Sewer District. For now, we are live in Central West End, Ala Araby, Fox 2 News.